In this nine minute demonstration, we're gonna build an application in the cloud using the Cordis Process Factory, which allows us to send SMSs consuming an external SMS web service. We'll then deploy this application to the Process Factory itself, but also to a Google site and a mobile device. So let's get started. First of all, I'm going to log in to the Process Factory and this will bring me to the Mashapps Composer, which allows me to create a new application, modify existing, copy or import. And we can see here there are currently no applications. I'm going to create a new application, we'll call it SMS App, and click on Save, which will take us to the main Cordis Process Factory Mashapps Composer. There are a number of things I can build listed on the left. We're going to build a simple forms-based application and we'll give this application form the name SMS form. If I click on OK, this brings me to the main form designer where I can add fields and artifacts to my form. So simply dragging and dropping from the right hand side will allow me to first add a picture to the form and give it some size details select a picture to upload from my hard drive and save done. And you can see the picture is then added to the form. We can then add the fields necessary that we need to create our application. So first of all, an auto number field. So we can track the SMSs that are being sent by an ID. We will then add another field which is a single line of text, which we will call two number, so the number we're going to send the SMS to. We'll add another one, which is a multi-line text called message, which is the message we're going to send. And then finally, we need to add a button to our form, which will allow us to send the SMS. When I click done, we can see we've very quickly built a form. We now need to add the web service which will allow us to actually send the SMS. So over on the right hand side in the web service repository I click on add and simply search for any registered web service that is within the process factory and we can see send SMS is the first one we have and I've now added that or associated that with the form. The last piece of configuration I need to do here is to configure the web service and select when the web service is started. So that will be when I click the SMS button and then map the inputs that this service requires. So being an external service, it requires a username and a password. So I will put my username and password into this service. At runtime, what we would normally do is replace these with the username and password of the user who is calling the service. And from number, again, is required my from number. And then the last couple of fields, uh, string is actually the number we want to send the message to, which we can find over on the left here from the fields on the form. So we simply drag and drop to number and message and we can delete the last map as it's not required. So that's our form configured, in fact that's our application complete. We simply now save it, check it in, which creates version 1 of this application and the application is now ready to be deployed. There's two steps to deploying this application. First of all, number 8 on the left, configure application. We're going to add a tab to the user interface within the process factory which allows the user to select the SMS application. So we will add SMS application, choose the form which we've just created and say OK. And we'll move this to the top and check back in. And finally, the last thing we need to do is simply a single click, publish application. And our application is now published into runtime. If I click on change application, you can now see SMS app and here is indeed the application. And if I put a mobile number in, we can see when I click send SMS, we will get an SMS ID, which means the SMS has been both recorded in a database, but also sent. 
The next thing to do is to deploy this to a Google site. I simply go to Setup. We have this thing called URL Generator, which will allow us to generate URLs for Google Gadgets. So I take the SMS form, and I want this to be authorized so that people have to log in to use it, and I generate a gadget URL. If I copy this URL and flip to my Google site, we can see here I've got a simple Google site with a table in the middle where I want to add my gadget. So simply choose insert a gadget by URL, paste the URL which we've just copied from the process factory, do some simple configuration, and say OK. And then when I save and return back to the end user view of the Google site, we'll see our application has been deployed to Google. Again, the application will be functional, <clears throat> and what we'll do is send a quick text to show how that works. So, two number again, and when I click send SMS this time, we should see the ID 002. Again, this has been recorded as a separate record into the database and has also sent the text to the mobile device. Finally, we're going to deploy to a mobile device. So if I go back to the Setup tab and URL Generator again, we can see here we have the option to generate an other URL. Now this will allow us to generate URLs for other portals, but also for certain mobile devices, iPhones, iPads, etc. Again, authorized access and generate. And this time I get a URL which I can either deploy to a portal, but in this case, I'm going to flip to an iPhone simulator and simply paste this URL in here. And when I hit enter, the application is displayed. And again, if I put a number in and a message, simply click send SMS. And we now see SMS ID number three recorded into the database, and also the SMS has been sent. So as you can see in the last nine minutes, we've taken the Cordis Process Factory uh, in the cloud and created an application which allows us to consume an external third-party web service and deploy it to end users, both using the Cordis Process Factory, as we see here, also using a Google site, and also on a mobile device.